Hey there everybody, I'm RVA Hiker Girl and today I'm at Lost River State Park and I'm doing a backpacking trip. So I am doing a really popular trail here um, called the Cranny Crow Overlook. And once I'm up there, I'm actually spending the night in a primitive ranger cabin and you can only get there by hiking to it. Um, so I think I'm there for two nights. Yeah, two nights and I'm going to explore around the area. There's a fire tower right next to the cabin. So I can't wait for that. And the views on this hike are supposed to be incredible. All right, come along with me. I'm going to show you what the trail looks like, how far the hike is, what the elevation is and what to expect when you come and check out this trail. Oh, by the way, if you're into hiking, backpacking, camping, all things outdoors, consider hitting that red button and subscribing to the channel. All right, already on trail. So the Cranny Crow Overlook Trail, it is a 4.1 out and back hike. It's about a thousand feet in elevation gain and there are two shelters um, at Overlooks on this particular trail. Uh, but I am going to the Cranny Crow Overlook and I am continuing on, I believe it's about another mile to this primitive ranger cabin. No electricity, no running water, off grid. Sounds like my kind of cabin. Anyway, let me get to moving so I can get up there and show you all the killer views. have to say they made some really good switchbacks on this trail to try to help with the elevation. All right, made it to the Cranny Crow Overlook sign and that Miller's Rock Trail is the trail where the primitive cabin is. Now which direction? I'm not 100% sure but I think it's that way but I have to look at the map just to be sure. I see it. It looks beautiful. Wow. Y'all, this is incredible. The Cranny Crow Overlook, you can see five counties and two states, West Virginia and Virginia. It's beautiful up here, guys. Anyway, I am heading on to the Miller's Run Trail to try to go find this primitive ranger cabin that I am staying in tonight. I cannot wait to see what it looks like and to check out that fire tower that is right next door to it. Miller's Run Trail is very different. It's blazed yellow and it's not rocky, it's grassy. So, I have not seen another soul today 
And this is a popular trail in West Virginia, the Craney Crow. And the Miller's Run actually has two primitive campsites that you have to book through the park system if you want to tent camp. And they're about a half a mile from the Craney Crow. And then the primitive cabin is about a mile past. So someone said, it's, there's not a lot of information online about it. So we'll see how many miles it is. That is home sweet home for the night. And if that wasn't spectacular enough, look what I'm right next to. A fire tower. I mean, who stays in a primitive cabin next to a fire tower? I mean, how incredible. I think I need to pinch myself. Anyway, this is the big ridge fire tower and they have the bottom rung taken off. So unfortunately you can't go up, but I do have a killer view on the other side of this cabin. Let's go take a look at it. All right. They give you firewood for this cool stove to keep you warm and to cook on. And we pay for two gallons of water to be brought up here, but they have extra. So if we use another gallon, we just pay for it when we leave. Look at the view from the kitchen. That is the porta potty. Not a bad view from the porta potty, huh? Anyway, this is the kitchen. And look, there's a sink, but there's no water. And there's a refrigerator, but there's no electricity. And there's also lights and a ceiling fan, but there's no electricity. <laughs> so there is a queen size bed here, and then another window here. And when you go up these stairs, there is a loft bed. It's gonna get pretty dark in this cabin. rocking chairs. I have rocking chairs to sit out on this porch and have my coffee in the morning. That's like one of my favorite things ever to do. Look at the fireplace or the chimney I should say. And there is a bench marker and it looks like 1956 is when this was put here. Here's what your outhouse is. There are two toilets side by side. I don't understand that concept. I am not gonna be using the bathroom, sitting next to somebody else using the bathroom. But anyway, that is the outhouse. And let me show you the view that you have. They have this magazine up in the cabin, right? And you flip it over. Hold on, honey, the hand. <laughs> you flip it over to the back and look. So see that fire tower and see that view? I am actually camping in that fire tower in a couple of weeks. It's the only fire tower 
east of the Mississippi, to my knowledge, that you can actually camp in. So it's pretty cool to see it on the back of a magazine. All right, change of plans. So goodbye to that hazy view and this beautiful cabin. So the original plan was to stay here for two nights, but I can't sit still. And there's really nothing to do once you get up here. So uh, I'm gonna hike back down the three miles and stay at another cabin here um, at the state park that is closer to some of the other trails. So yeah, so heading back to see what Cranny Crow looks like um, again this morning and whatever else I can find along the way. I didn't show you this yesterday. So look, these are the power lines to the cabin, right? There's no power, but this is why they're down in several places and I'm sure it was a struggle to maintain power in this forest with all of the trees knocking them down all the time. Here's another spot. Look at all of the horseback riders coming by. Hello. That looks like fun. <laughs> Good morning. Beautiful horses. Look at this one. Beautiful. Good morning. Are you enjoying your hike? Yes, beautiful horse. I love horses. I had thought about doing that, uh, doing a horseback riding uh, up here. Uh, they do it at the state park. I'm not sure how much it is, but there's stables right actually across from where I parked to get on the trailhead here. And man, they're just absolutely beautiful. I grew up with horses, so I have a deep love, although I'm allergic to them. Uh, if I touch a horse and I touch my face, I will blow up. Like literally my face will swell up and I will look like an elephant woman or something. You wouldn't even be able to recognize me, but I still absolutely love them. It is just as beautiful, if not even more beautiful today because the lighting is different. We were up here yesterday like at 530, so the light was a little bit different in the mountains, but look at it now. Absolutely gorgeous. And I will have to say, so far after visiting West Virginia, I'm going to go on record and say this is my absolute favorite view in West Virginia. you pass horses you got to be careful with where you step on the trail all right here is the cabin that I moved down to let's go take a look at what it looks like on the inside this one is much bigger for sure this is the living room, fireplace, air condition. That door goes outside. And this is a bedroom. And this is a bedroom. And this is the kitchen. I love these old doors here. They're so cool. And there's my car. And the bathroom is in here.
also I am about to go on another hike, but I wanted to show you guys something. See this right here? It only weighs one ounce. This is the Sea to Summit Nano backpack. It's like a little day pack. Let me undo it and I'll show you what it looks like. When it unfolds, it becomes a little day pack. So this is my first time using it. So let me see how I like it. This is what I get for bushwhacking. This plant grabbed my leg. And look, now all these little things are like stuck to me. And I gotta try to get them off. <laughs> Trying to get these off, but they like won't come off and like they're stuck literally in my pants. These are the only pair of pants I have. Look, isn't that crazy? Jay Bird's trying to help me. <laughs> How beautiful. You've got one blue eye and one brown eye. Yes, you do. <laughs> Look how pretty your nose is. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, you pretty. Hey guys, just down here, can you see the swinging bridge that's right here on this creek? I mean, this is just a, an example of how gorgeous and beautiful this state park is in West Virginia. I will have to say it's probably one of the most tranquil and quiet state parks I think I've ever been to. There aren't a lot of people that come to this state park. So that's a gift to you if you come here, right? The last time I was here, it was rainy and I came to do the Craney Crow Overlook and I just didn't do it because I didn't want to hike all the way up there and not have great views. And boy, am I glad I came back for a second time. But they have almost 30 cabins here with electricity. That primitive cabin that I stayed in, two tent sites <clears throat> that you can rent um, up towards the Craney Crow Overlook. And they have four tenter sites, which that's an outside company that rents canvas tents. Um, and there's a car about to go by because I'm right by the road. Anyway, guys, I hope you'll check out the state park. There, it's just so beautiful and lush and the mushrooms everywhere. It's just that lush, green, gorgeous um, scenery. As soon as you drive in, as soon as you hit 
Lost River State Park, the sign, everything just changes and it just becomes this gorgeous, gorgeous place to be. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe if you are not a current subscriber. And if you are, thank you very much. It's RVA Hiker Girl. I am over and out for this video and I'll see you on the next one, guys.